Hi. Today I'm just going to use my uh, Faber Castell. Castell. Oh, oh, it's not going to even focus here. Um, my gelatos. There we go. I have some pretty bad light. I think I'm giving my camera a hard time. Um, anyway, I'm going to use my Faber Castell gelatos. And we're going to make a background color for an art journal page. You can also do this, obviously, with a scrapbook page, um, any kind of page. Um, I've pre-gessoed um, this surface, so it's just a white um, gesso. Um, Grumbacher's Artist uh, Acrylic Medium. I am going to be using um, four gelatos, green tea, tangerine, red cherry, and mango okay and the gelatos again are this you know really awesome like pigment color and i'm thinking that i will want to do this as um as like a kind of a floral page at some point but i'm gonna start with my green tea actually get this clip okay start with the green tea and spread that on like that and you're gonna be able to pick up this texture because my my gesso is kind of um, I don't know got a texture to it I'm just rubbing with my finger and I'm smearing it in a bit well, this is my green and you can see the texture of that gesso showing up um, maybe next time to avoid the texture I would just add some water to it um, I thinking I'm going to add um, the mango next. So I'm just going to kind of go over that, go over my green fingerprint that I got on there. Okay, so that was mango. And I'm just going to smear that in with a different finger. I cleaned off one anyway. And I'm using a baby wipe off camera, or now on camera, to just kind of wipe my finger clean so I don't blend into the colors too much. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of red, which is the red cherry. This one I might go over that orange a little bit. So I did do quite a bit of that. Okay. So now I'm going to blend the red cherry. And it's really smooth when you're, when you're rubbing this in, it's like really smooth. This is going to be a pretty bright background but I'm thinking what I'll do later on um, I'll just add like some a f like black floral stamp and we'll see what happens but for right now we're just working on the background and um, I'm going to use tangerine here so I'm just coloring that on just like I'm using a chapstick but on a piece of paper and then use a clean finger Oop, try not to rip my page and rub that in. Now, um, I could leave it like that. Um, I could also take, um, I could even take a baby wipe even, and just kind of take some color off. Eh, but I don't want to do that, so um, put some red back in there. And, and also that color here. Okay. To kind of fix that part. Um, but I think I want to add a little bit of water to it to just kind of soften that a little bit. I have a water brush off camera and I'm just going to kind of take my water brush, whoop, which still unfortunately has a little bit of, okay, a little bit of the other color I was using before. Okay. Now I'm going to smear it a little. I'm going to go through all the colors. Smear through it. Okay, and get that green nice and wet there. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna spread that a little. Ooh, that could be my stems for flowers. There we go. Okay, and then maybe I'm gonna do some more watering up at the top. But yeah, that could be my built-in stems right there. Perfect. 
perfect. Oh, too much butter. Okay. Well, it'll dry okay, I think, maybe. Okay. Oh, this could be quite cool if I can add a nice flower to that. Okay. So I think that's my background page for today. Just using the Faber Castell gelatos. And I think those will be built-in stems, and then we'll have to see how I'm gonna make a flower. Maybe I'll cut out some dictionary paper and and then we'll we'll kind of work on that next. That'll be the next video. This has to dry, of course, but um, yeah, again, I'm using the Faber Castell gelatos, and I love, love, love these, and I have new colors. Um, I think I'll have nine um, new colors coming next week, so I'm impatient. I really wish um, things could get shipped even faster, like overnight, but not pay overnight shipping costs. Anyway, <laughs> I'm impatient when I get, when I order new supplies. I just want it like now. But anyway, I will have some new gelatos, and I will be able to play even more in my art journal. Um, thanks for watching, and again, this is just a really simple way to just add some color without using paint. You know, all you need, you know, it'd be good for traveling even, you know, you just bring these along and you don't even need paint. You need a water brush or a paint brush and some water. So, hope you enjoyed today and we'll have to see what this page looks like in the future. Thanks for watching.